the sun and on the city lights All this thought around me, damn it, look, I got it right Don't you try to hit me, now you live a petty life All those nights I laid awake, I pray for better life Now I wake up with a body like I said I might This a better life, you never tried, I bet it right This a better life, you never tried, I bet it right You been stuck, this where you at because you never tried For a better life, I had a time, I bet it right Yeah, I just took a test and yeah, let me write uh, I just took a test and yeah, I rolled the dice yeah, Women, I'll be bad because the folk was nice everybody welcome back um yeah so we're literally picking up right after the close out of the other video so this is what we're going to be working on with gabriel's car so like i explained in the last video um gabriel brought me the car back because uh let me take a seat here i am exhausted um gabriel brought me the car back because this thing was smoking every time he took off and we narrowed it down to valve seals i went ahead and did a compression test the car tested 190 all the way across um so compression is good everything looks good the pistons are a little wet and so we basically just narrowed it down to valve seals needing to be done on this head um they've never been done before um so we're gonna go ahead and get into that now we didn't think that this thing was gonna need valve seals so we didn't do it before we installed it on the motor um, so now we're going to attempt to do it in the motor and it's going to kind of suck because Shane put dual springs in here. Um, I mean, it sucks already, but I don't know. We'll see. I couldn't really find any other kind of tool to do this in the head. So I went ahead and ordered this uh, PQY tool. According to the reviews that I've seen online, a lot of people were saying that this thing lasts just long enough to be able to do one head before one of these threads starts stripping out or something like that. So uh we're gonna try to get started with this thing and see how far in we can get and uh hopefully we can get this done if we don't get it done worst case scenario i'll just have to do the one thing that i don't want to do which is take the head off and i have the correct valve spring compressor for that I've done plenty of heads that way i really never do it this way i've only been <clears throat> I've done it like this one way one time before and after that it sucked so everybody that needs valve seals done i would tell them to take the head to the machine shop and let them deal with it so but uh yeah so let's get started and uh let's hope for the best all right so we're hitting not one snag but two snags so first snag is the supplied bolts that they send you the bolt in where the cam caps go are too short so i had to get my own bolts to make it work the second thing that i was wondering is the bolt that they send you to push down on the valve um so my first concern when I saw this bolt was the uh, bottom of it is kind of rounded, but this bolt is probably about three eighths. Um, it's either five sixteenths or three eighths in, di in dimension, and there it goes. So I was wondering how that is going to be able to let the retainers come out past it, so that you could actually remove the, uh, or not the retainers, but the valve locks um, or the keepers, as some people call them. Um, how those were going to come past this to be able to move the, the valve spring retainer off of the uh, valve. Um, then I quickly realized I didn't even have to worry about that because this bolt actually doesn't even reach the valve. So, I mean, literally the only part of the tool, I guess, that I'm using is just the block. So now I have to find a bolt that's longer or improvise something to get this to work. All right, guys, well, some time has passed since that last little clip that I recorded. Um, I want to say it's probably been about a week or so. You can probably tell by my hair. I got a haircut. And, uh, yeah, it's just been really crazy. Um, so last thing that we've seen was I was going to try to use that PQY tool on there. Basically, I ended up having to improvise with my spring compressor. I had to use basically, like, my buckets and my bolts to be able to do it. And even so, um, it's still, we were able to get two of them done. It took us like almost two hours to be able to get these things done. And I don't know how well you could see that, but it's stripped out on the second one. It's This thing is like locked in there. Like I'm going to try to get my impact gun and loosen it up, but I'm just not even going to fight with it no more. I'm just going to take the head off and do the valve seals one by one 
with my actual spring compressor tool that gets used to do um, the valve seals off the head. But so that's where we ended up with that. And then the uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about was um, I basically just wanted to let you in on like what all is going on and like why I haven't uploaded and stuff like that in so long and why I've been taking kind of a long break. Well, it's not even really a break. It's just I haven't really had time to keep up with everything. Um, things have just been real busy. Um, got Gabriel's car here still. Obviously, I need to get that done. And then uh, I haven't even been able to do the stuff um, that I wanted to do on my car. I finally fixed the rear oil leak today. I'm going to show you guys in a little bit what I did there. Um, but other than that, it's just it's, it's been busy, you know, um, the whole time of the holidays and everything. It was just one thing after another. It was nonstop. And um, a lot of my friends and stuff like that have been wanting to go out and have been wanting to do stuff. And which is fine it's not an issue but I've, I've been having to turn down a lot of people on going out and getting stuff done mainly because of school um i started school up again i'm off break now and it's just this class that i have is just real killer so um it's not a crazy class it's biology and uh, i love biology i mean I, I have fish tanks i used to work at a fish store stuff like that so biology isn't a difficult subject it's just the structure of the class itself is real difficult to keep up with you i literally have to log in like every single day and turn in assignments different days and stuff like that and then my other thing is to um so before i started getting up on the youtube thing which you know the main reason i started doing it was because a lot of friends of mine were like oh you know like we'd love to see your content and stuff like upload it on youtube and stuff like that so i was like all right i'll give it a shot and it's a lot of fun i'm not gonna lie it's it's a ton of fun i love recording i love you know sitting down at the editing software editing everything and uploading the content for you guys and i made a lot of new friends i met a lot of new people and you know it's just really cool just hearing the feedback from certain people and from my friends and stuff like that and so you know i, I i've kept up with it but um when i started the youtube thing um I kind of wanted to try to see if I could grow the channel like a little quicker. And uh, so I started uploading more consistently. At least that's what everybody was telling me. Like, oh, just make sure you upload more consistently and this and that and blah, blah, blah. So <clears throat> I was really consistently, well, religiously basically going to the gym and stuff like that. So the gym ended up kind of taking a back seat, And I actually ended up like gaining a good amount of weight focusing on i mean you guys might have seen it in the videos i i'm i look pretty big in some of these videos um i started making it a priority to just work on these cars and record the content and edit it and post it up for you guys but um you know i finally put my foot down and that's not you know unfortunately youtube isn't my priority so my priority is first of all to graduate which i graduate this year with my bachelor's in business administration concentration in finance that's my main priority priority number two is um i want to be fit so before i make the time to sit down and edit videos and do everything that i gotta do i'm gonna make sure that i go to the gym once all my work is done with school once i stick to my schedule of going to the gym at least four days a week minimum four days a week and then on top of that, of course, I got to work on Gabriel's car and I got to work on other people's cars. Like I had to do the brakes on my mom's car last week um, on the Nissan. I got to do a whole bunch of suspension and stuff like that. And then every once in a while, I have friends that hit me up that they either want to go hang out or um, they're going to go to look at a car or they need me to come over and give them an opinion on something. You know, um, that takes up some time as well. Not saying that I don't want to do that stuff. All I'm saying is it's going to take time away from me time that i could be using for editing and stuff like that and i'm gonna choose that if i get invited to go um play pool or if i can get invited to go to a bonfire like we went to this last weekend or if i get invited to go do whatever and i actually have the time and i can take the time to edit a video or i can go do that i'm most likely gonna go do that because at the end of the day those are memories with friends and stuff like that and those are opportunities that are only going to present themselves only so many times and uh you want to take advantage of stuff like that you know like i tell everybody when the opportunity arises <clears throat> treat yourself you owe it to yourself so that's exactly what i'm gonna do but um 
yeah so i'm gonna try to keep uh i'm gonna try to make it a thing to consistently upload once a week um keyword try i'm hoping that after this biology class is done it'll be a lot easier for me to find time to work on the cars because that's another one of the reasons i don't really upload because i don't really find time to work on cars therefore i can't record and i can't have content for you guys but so hopefully we can find some time to work on this thing um i want to see if i can start working on it hopefully tomorrow because usually on the weekdays i don't do too 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 much except for the whole school thing so um hopefully i can find some time to start pulling the head off of this and start doing the vibes little by little um by this weekend this car will be done i don't care what else is scheduled what else needs to get done um i'm gonna make the time to make this make sure that this car gets done this weekend also that's some crazy focus i don't know if you guys can tell uh maybe the uh video quality has increased a little bit it's because i switched to a new phone so i now have the 14 pro max and uh oh now it's not focusing yeah this thing is wild but let me show you what i was doing on my car so i put the fittings away already but so basically what was going on over here was um i had an oil leak in the back of the block i never really worried too much about it because it wasn't too too bad of a leak but so basically right there where you see those fittings coming out i used to have kind of like an l-shaped fitting coming out from right over there like this and then i had a t so my old pressure feed was coming off that T and then I had my turbo feed coming off the top of that. The problem is it was so close to the block that I couldn't really snug it. So I had Teflon and stuff on there and I was hoping that that would help it not leak. But no, it, it leaked. It it didn't leak too, too bad, but it kept slowly dripping and collecting on the back of the block and stuff like that. And it got pretty annoying because I kept consistently just smelling oil inside the cabin. So uh, Shane actually ordered that for his car found out he couldn't use it for some reason i can't remember the exact reason why so i ended up taking it off of him and using it for this so i could eliminate all those fittings and it works perfectly um so i put new teflon i put some sealant on there and then hopefully um no more leaks i mean we'll find out here soon and then another issue that i'm having is i keep going through return lines so i don't know if you saw in one of the last videos that i kept smoking on idle it was because I had routed my turbo return to come this way, like this. And then when it got down here, there was like a 90 fitting that went like that. So I guess I was building back pressure and the oil was just going past the turbo seals. But um, so now I have it a lot more direct and there's no more smoke on idle. Um, but eventually I do want to change that because that's nylon hose. It's the only thing I had laying around. I would like to tuck those over there for now until i get ac back in here so i would like to uh change that out for stainless and i actually have stainless right here for the breather lines and i got like 10 feet of the nylon so i think what i could do is i could take some of this or i could take these stainless lines off and use them for that turbo return and then I can use nylon for the breathers because usually nylon is good for breathers. Um, especially since I have my dump tube right there, but we'll see how long it lasts. We'll see how long it lasts. Um, I do also have a welder now, so I've been doing a lot of little welding projects and whatnot. So I actually might be able to reroute this dump tube so then I don't really have to worry about it, whether it's nylon or not, but and so far, I haven't had any issues, so it is what it is. But, uh, yeah, so caught you guys up on what I've been up to. Caught you guys up on what's going on with the cars here at the house. And um, that's pretty much all I wanted to do. So I'm actually going to try to edit um, the video that came out before this one now. Um, so I can start getting some content up and then this will be the following video um and then hopefully by the time you guys see this gabriel's car will be done and i'll have a bunch of stuff recorded for you and we'll be right back to square one but uh yeah so uh 
Oh, and I can't wait for the uh, for the EF project. That's another reason I want to get this e this uh, Integra done. Um, just because uh, I'm I'm dying to sink my teeth into that EF. But yeah. So anyway, that's enough of me blabbing for one night. So uh, that's gonna be it, guys. Um, thanks for listening. If you stay till the end, that's cool. Um, I appreciate that. I appreciate, you know, every single, each and every one of you. There's like a consistent, like 90 something of you that are constantly watch my videos <coughs> within a day of me, um, posting and the channel grows more and more day by day. And I'm really appreciative of that and of every one of you. So with that being said, don't forget, if you like the video, don't forget to like, leave a comment. If you have any questions, I usually get back to everyone pretty quickly and uh, share the video with your friends. Um, but yeah, so that's gonna be it, guys. So take it easy. Catch you guys on the next one. I just thought around me, then but look, I got it right. Don't you try to hit me now, you live a petty life. All those nights I laid awake, I pray for better life. Now I wake up with a baddie like a set of